Just looking at the Melbourne Cup quickly, uh, you've got uh, four runners in the field at the moment, a couple just on the cusp. Uh, firstly, Buckaroo. Uh, you don't often see a, a Caulfield Cup trial into a Melbourne Cup as good as what Buckaroo produced, and he's just, he's just an absolute flying form at the moment. Yeah, he's got some great form behind the right horses. <clears throat> so um, he won a, a weight for age race in Sydney before coming down. He won the Underwood impressively, um, over 1,800. He then ran second in the Turnbull, but he was beaten narrowly by Via Sestina, and we saw what she did in the Cox Plate last week. So a second in the uh, Caulfield Cup, but finishing the race off really well gave us the confidence to suggest that he can get two miles, which is our, our only query, because he has the right form into the race, certainly here from Australia. So yeah, I think um, from form, he's our number one seed. Whether he's our number one seed in terms of Stamina, I'm not sure. So, Land Legend, um, Mr. Ho's horse from Hong Kong. Um, he's done very well in Australia. He's won a Group 1 race and a St. Ledger. So, uh, he's in good form. I think he's a little bit underdone in the Caulfield Cup. He's very fresh. Mm -hmm. uh, going to the start, he gave Zach Burton a hard time. And in the race, it didn't change. He was very, very fierce. So, we've done everything we can to just switch him off a little bit without flattening him. Uh, so lots of long, slow work. Haven't taken the speed out of him, we hope, uh, but we just want to just bring him back and just temper him a, l a little. So he'll have the earmuffs on. They don't work for all horses, but we can't win the race if he's over racing. So we've got no choice to put them on, do the other things behind the scenes with his work just to get him to relax better for Zach. And if Zach can get him to switch off and settle, he'll run the two miles. And to have a jockey like Zach aboard uh, to, to build on that Hong Kong uh, link with uh, Mr. Ho, uh, it must be great to get a jockey of his calibre uh, yeah. for Land Legend. There's, there'd be 10 top 10 jockeys in the world, and Zach is certainly one of them, and he'd be right up the top. Uh, so Hong Kong's very fortunate to have him, and he's continued to evolve, continued to get better. And yeah, yeah it's, it's great to have him back here in Australia and uh, he keeps the local boys and girls um, sharp. Uh, they've got to be good to beat Zach Purton. Uh, we get to see him racing Wednesday nights and Sundays in Hong Kong, and we're in full ad admiration of what he's done and what he's continuing to do. Uh, so having, having him aboard in the Melbourne Cup, which he's obviously won before, uh, is a big coup. Uh, Kovalika, a horse that is a little bit maligned because he hasn't won for a long time since that Queensland derby, but he's a horse that has run so well so often. Yeah. Um, what do you make of him getting up to the two miles? Uh, I think it's a plus. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a, it's a, he, he hasn't raced over 2,400 metres or beyond since he won the Queensland Derby, which was impressive. Uh, money talks, and we tried to win the Never, uh, Golden Eagle this day last year. Um, it's 1,500 metres at his home track, and it just didn't work out at all. So um he's finally back up to a longer distance race he's coming out of a uh, a good second placing over 1900 meters last start and um yeah up to the two miles in fact he ran the cox plate of course um so yeah he's had the mileage uh he's coming out of the cox plate and hopefully he's ready to run two miles and valiant king uh, a horse that uh, you've only had for this season what have you made of him uh, and his progression lovely horse to work with Genuine stayer, doesn't have the speed to be competitive in the lead up races, but it's great to see that he's made the field because his two mile form will be, will be superior. So he's ready to peak and that's what we're banking on. He ran second to Vauban uh, last year. Obviously Vauban started favorite in the Melbourne yeah. Cup and comes back again, um, but obviously meets him a, a lot better at the weights. Yeah, he's in the, weight, in the race really well with the weights. Um, look, I took some, yeah, I took some positive things out of his last start, which was 2400. Stepping up to two miles is, and is based on his work, he's, he's ready to run well.